Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a all natural face moisturizer. For this moisturizer, I'm just using a few simple ingredients and a few different essential oils to make this. It only takes like five minutes to make and it's really easy and if you guys already do any type of like DIYs or make any type of skincare things at home, you probably have all of these ingredients just sitting around in your bathroom or your pantry or wherever you store them because it's very, very basic ingredients. So for this recipe, you're gonna need some shea butter. You can make it with either a half of a cup or a whole cup depending on how much you wanna make. I'm gonna do mine a whole cup right now because I go through this stuff really fast. I actually just finished off my jar here. You can see the remains in there so I decided it's time to fill it back up why not record it for you guys so I'm gonna make a whole cup right now we are going into the winter months and my skin gets dry and so this is a good recipe to have on hand for the cooler month I'm gonna place everything in a glass bowl here and then put it onto my boiling pot of water if you have a double boiler you can use that as well but this is just one cup of shea butter and like I said it's very easy to cut this recipe in half or double it or however much you wanna make at a time. And then I'm gonna add in some carrier oil. Now, for your carrier oil, you have a couple options here. You can use avocado oil, you can use olive oil, though I don't really suggest that one. You can use sweet almond oil, jojoba oil is a good one, rose hip oil is good. Kind of depends on your skin. So over on the blog, I kind of wrote out more things about what each one is good for for your skin. I like to do a mixture of jojoba oil and avocado oil. I also really like fractionated coconut oil, so any of those is fine. Four tablespoons of carrier oil with the one cup of shea butter. This one right here is gonna be really good for dry skin. It's also gonna help with anti-aging, and it's good for acne-prone skin. So now I'm just gonna place my bowl over top of my pot of water bring this to a boil and let all these ingredients melt. I'm not even going to stir this or do anything to it, I'm just going to let it melt. And while it's melting, I was gonna to talk to you guys about some of the essential oils that you can add in to your face moisturizer. I'm going to do a blend of oils. You can use single oil, you can do a blend. Again, this is totally up to you and depends on preference, but I am doing a blend of lavender, sandalwood, and yarrow palm. Now, yarrow palm is a blend that doTERRA makes. It um, has yarrow essential oil and pomegranate seed oil in it. This oil is the best for your skin. It's so good for anti-aging, fine lines, wrinkles. It makes your skin just smooth. It helps with skin tone. I have been using this oil for about a year now and I am obsessed with the way it makes my skin feel. It has a really, really pretty dark blue color to it. So this will make my lotion look blue, which is kind of pretty too. So I'm gonna do, for this amount, I'll do about 30 drops of essential oil is in here. So I'm gonna do maybe just 10 of each, lavender, sandalwood, and yarrow palm. All three of these have great benefits for your skin. Like I said, the anti-aging, they're good for acne. If you really struggle with acne, you might want to add in some tea tree oil that's really good for like a spot treatment. Some more oils that are really good for skin are frankincense. It's really good at rejuvenating the skin. It's also good for any type of skin blemishes or imperfections. Another one that I like for skin a lot is myrrh essential oil, and that one's really good for dry skin. So if you suffer from dry skin, you might wanna add in some myrrh essential oil. And then lemon essential oil is good if you have oily or greasy skin. One little tip though, if you're using any type of citrus oil in your face moisturizer, remember that most of your citrus oils are photosensitive, so if you put it onto your face, you're gonna to want to avoid direct sunlight for 24 hours. So if you are a person that's outside a lot, or you work outside, or you just go outside a lot, you may want to avoid putting any type of citrus oils inside of your face moisturizer. All right, so I'm gonna let this melt. And then when it's finished melting, we will add in the drops of essential oil. And then I'm going to just put it right into this wide mouth mason jar. I like to use a wide mouth mason jar because then it makes it easier to get in all the way to the end when it's running out, I can really reach in there. And I like this shallow dish as well, just make it easier to get out. Um, but you can use any type of airtight container. After I 
removing the mixture from the heat, I like to let mine cool for about an hour or so before adding in my essential oils because it can destroy some of the essential oil benefits and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna let it cool slightly, then I'll add in my essential oils. And then I'm going to store mine, like I said, in this little mason jar. And it's going to be liquid like this, but it will eventually harden back up and be about the same texture as the shea butter. So once it gets to that texture, then it is ready to use. I like to apply mine after I wash my face and I just use a small amount, about a dime size amount at a time and just massage it into my face and it's gonna leave your face nice and smooth. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I actually have a brand new ebook that I just published with all of my favorite skincare recipes. So if you guys are interested in getting that, there's a link for that down in the description below. And if you are new to essential oils and looking for more education, I have lots of resources for that, including my set of 100 essential oil roller bottle recipes and labels. Again, there's links for all of these things down in the description below. If you are new to my channel, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and I share lots of different healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our early house.